Hey, I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And welcome to the Flight Test Holiday Special. Thanks Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for you, Josh. I wasn't talking to you. Oh. What are you thankful for? That's nice. Well, you guys uh, wanted to see a uh, swappable FPV plane. What better way to do that than to bring back the foul flyer from last Thanksgiving? From the past. And, yeah. and we couldn't bring back the original because it kind of got destroyed that night. That's right. Somebody stepped on it. Not mentioning names, Eric. It was in the dark, it was my fault. It was out there, we were having a great yeah. time, binging ourselves on the carcass that we were flying around. We really weren't doing that though. No, and Eric, that's unbeknownst sure to him, a weird thing to say. walked right into the airplane. Could have happened to anybody. It could have, I put it but in the wrong it spot. happened to Eric. Yeah. So anyway, we decided to make a smaller version with the uh, swappable fuselage yes. that we know and love so well. Yes. And uh, make these mini foul flyers. And, and they fly good. Yeah. They do good, they, they serve a couple purposes. They mm. carry a huge payload because Although the power yeah, why don't you show them? All yeah, the FPV stuff this one is back. set up for FPV, and if you look here, it's an agglomeration of wire. But we have our little cloverleaf antenna, all of our batteries, all of our electronics, and nothing's on the outside. It's fully enclosed, fully encased, and we actually test flew this, and not a single glitch. It was amazingly good. If you're gonna be at the flying field for a long day, uh, it doubles as a lunchbox. You can fit all kinds of goodies Ooh. inside. Yeah, I'll write some. Hey, I like these chips. Some more potato chips. chips I mean, there's good. just no end to how much stuff you can fit in here. Uh, that's for me, and I was thinking of you, so I got you a do. Throwback. So, just no limits to what we can fit in here. I know. See, and this is really good because... Before you eat. I, I don't have two hands. There you go. Thank you. We are ready for lunch. Cleanliness is good. It's next to godliness. Yes. They say. Yeah. So it carries a lot of weight. I, I can even picture some other things getting dropped from it too. Children. Children. Not children, not squirrels. Maybe toilet paper in the future. We'll see. Ooh, but yeah. very versatile, very industrial. Now this is also two different versions too. That's right. Yeah. That, is that the four channel? This is a three channel. Oh, this is the four channel. Yeah, That's this this channel. one is three channel, strictly bank and yank. And it does track pretty decent. Uh, this one, we want to see if a rudder would work. And we actually went a little crazy. We only put rudder on one side. Why? Huh? We want to see if it would work. And it worked. A little stronger in one direction than the other, but both yeah. directions work just fine. Really, you know, you don't have to mash on the six that much, so you really won't feel the difference between left or right. But we went ahead and just put a little servo because minimal, minimalism? Minimalistic. Sure. Why not? At this point. Keeping ahead. everything minimal and cheap is, is kind of what we're all about. Yeah. And so that's what we did. We put it on one side, it worked phenomenally well. There, I'm sure someone's going to figure out a mod that the front nose gears is fixed but uh, I'm sure you can make that really easily steerable. Right we just up. wanted to keep the expense down, and these things jump in the air in about five, 10 feet, so you really don't need to worry about steering on the ground. Cool. Cool. Uh, you wanna talk about the uh, where you put the GoPro in? Yeah, yeah, the GoPro is up in the nose. Had a couple That's right. of challenges. So actually, the uh, lens will protect the nose of your plane uh, in the event of a crash. Yeah, rollover shouldn't happen, but that was good. So what we did is we put the GoPro encased right up in the front there. Now, there's a couple, couple hiccups that we had to address. Well, one right. thing, it's hard to, to power on your camera with it being all the way up in the nose. Oh yeah, because you have to and, reach all the way in there. Yeah, and also powering on, you gotta, you just gotta reach down in here and hit the on yeah, switch. Yeah, that's not you gotta, convenient. Kinda gotta feel it out. You but, know what I did though? To make that what, better. What did you do? I came up with a modification. You modded, oh, I wanna I was up this. all night last night and uh... Burning the midnight oil, drinking the coffee? Yeah, I don't drink coffee, but yes. Burning that midnight oil. What, what did you do there, buddy? Uh, so here we have a barbecue skewer running right Our favorite here. material. Pull it out. Look at that. Ta -da! That's Easy you made access. that. I did. That's amazing. Midnight oil was wow. burnt. What did you use for the front nose? All there? night last night. What's that? What was the front nose made out of? It's what was uh, that? Is that? That's poster board. That's poster board. Yeah. That's really cool. Where yeah. where did you get that poster? Board? Uh, the poster board store. store? You went to night. the poster board store. Yes. Uh huh. Hey, no matter who designed it, it's a good design, and, and this will also when we do our build video, which we are going to be doing. This is uh, how it's going to be laid out. So you guys no longer have to reach back through the butt. You can actually, I'm going to stop. No right one there. should ever have to do that. Let's no. be honest. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to reach through the back to, to get to your electronics. You can actually open it right to the front, access all your stuff, turn on your GoPro and uh, go from there. Now, there's a key point here. Planes have to be balanced. And as you can see, this one this is, one is way on its wacky. tail there. If your nose gear doesn't come down and meet the ground, your plane is not balanced, do not fly it. So this is kind of like the old uh, ultralights. Uh, you need that nose weight. 
Good. You're the one that's talking. All right, you need that nose weight in order to make it fly good. So we'll show where the balance points are and all the details, but need to say, if your plane does the little tail thing like that. The words tails down. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Don't fly it. Don't fly it. It needs, needs to be balanced properly. I'm just rambling on. I want to I know. I'm not, I'm, that's why I'm asking you ready to go out You want to go fly it? Yeah. I want to go fly it too. Okay, let's go. All right. Between both of them? Uh, no, let's just take this one. Okay, the green one. You forgot your lunch. He's not thankful for anything. Okay, all right. Wind's blowing a little bit. Now, one thing about this design is it unfortunately does not love the wind. <laughs> Doesn't like the wind the most. There we go. Now it's better. More good. Up, 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 up. Doesn't like the wind the, the most. So oh. it kind of wobbles around, but it's an FPV platform. It flies. It looks like a turkey plane. That's what I'm It looks like for. the one that we built last year. Yeah, and it's thanks to And we're going to have a build video on this. So yeah. yeah. We'll learn check, how to build it. Check it out, and they'll even have your mod. Yes, it will. It'll be cool. A little trap door. A little trap door. So it'll make life easy. So what do you think? We put it up? Yeah, let's go. All right. Is, is Eric clear? Yeah, I should Who cares? Eric can take care of himself. All right. You ready? Yep. <laughs> it does not matter where Eric stands. You know, he's very quick. You're going to try to kill him. Huh? You know what, though? He is the uh, angry swordsman. I knew he would have those ninja reflexes that were and needed. And now we know why he's uh, angry. Well, so maybe now, maybe it'd be a good idea to actually put a steerable nose gear on this if you're going to fly around cameraman. But actually, you know what? It doesn't bobble around too bad. It's doing pretty good. Oh, it's not that windy yet. No, it isn't doing that bad. And the glide slope, you don't need much power to fly, which is a nice thing. Let's fly over that uh, track there. Watch out for the tower, okay? Oh, yeah, am I going towards the tower? You were close. Hey, there you guys are. Hi. Man, it is kicking around though. It is really, especially, especially low. Hey, look, there's there's a car and a four-wheeler. Let's chase them. That is not a four-wheeler. That is, that's the Batman is, motorcycle. What is that? I don't know. It's like a reverse three-wheeler. It looks cool. It is cool. All right, we're back on things. So as anyway. you can see, in high wind, the thing does get bumped around quite a bit. So. If you're going to take this out in windy weather, maybe go with a wing, you know, or some different airplane. But for, for calm weather FPV, it, it's great for cruising. And, you know, up higher. Hey, can I see? Yeah, you want to try it? I want to see the goggles. Oh, you want to see it? Okay. Yeah. Let me see where I'm at here. All right, I'm heading towards PJs. There it is. What do you think? And one thing I didn't mention and stuff, it's really nice about this. Your it's, head is bigger than mine. Oh, is it? Is that better? Yeah. It's actually quite good with uh, aerobatics, too. Woo! It has a really nice roll rate. And inverted is fine. It's gonna make me sick. Sorry, okay, I'll be good now. And it has plenty of power to carry quite a heavy load. Now, we're pushing a lot of wind right now, or against a yeah. lot of wind, so it's not the fastest. But it has a nice moderate cruise, and uh, it's very easy to fly. Matter of fact, hands off um, on a calm day, no problem whatsoever. Wing overs? No, it's bank and yank. Let's do a little buzz, what do you say? Sure. See if we can finish off Eric here. <laughs> I have a front row seat to the demise of Eric. Oh, we missed him. And then maybe next time. <laughs> so, like I said, a little bit of wind. I think that huge body hanging underneath there and that wind pushing it around definitely causes some wobble. Yeah, and our lunch is in there too. Calm day is not a problem whatsoever. Want to put it in for landing? Yeah. And it flew longer than the original turkey plane too. Uh, I'm scared. A little rocky. It's uh, windy. Down. There we go. There we go. What do you All think? Alright. On the mains. We're good to go. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty shaky. Pretty rocky, but uh how was the video though? No vibration so. Oh no, yeah. Well I mean the plane itself. Yeah, is the plane is really wind. rocky. If if you guys are gonna build this and fly this FPV, don't fly it on a windy day. You'll no. just you'll get a lot of this. But, but make sure your lunch isn't in it either. No, or you'll be tossing your lunch. Yeah. Literally, because it's in the airplane. You like that? I put those together. Mm, that was a good one. All right, so it's it's an easy plane to fly. Yeah. It's not that hard. Fly it on calm days. Carry lots of payload. Drop your lunch on people. Or fly FPV, whatever and you want. And put a dead turkey carcass in it. Yeah. And if you want to build this once again, the, the plans will be a free download. We'll have a full build video to go along video with video it. For, yeah. And uh, go, go to our website. And go to the website. Flighttest.com. Chat, chat it up on the forums. Rate some articles. And all the stuff that we always say. All the stuff. And Thanks we want to Cat Productions for sponsoring this episode. See, we do this so often. Yes. We can give each other. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. To you and yours. See you next time.